hi so today we are discussing about router transmission router is same like filter transmission we are using the router to filter multiple conditions at a time to create multiple filter conditions at a time so using filter transmission at a time we can create only one condition the operators we can use but the entire expression is only one condition here like uh, department number 20 or salary greater than 10,000 or high day deep score so and so so the expression in expression we can add multiple condition but the entire expression is only one single input and single output this is but if you want to create multiple conditions means single source and multiple targets so current my requirement is I want to filter department 20 details into one target 30 details into one target the remaining records into the one target so we have to create three conditions here so using filter it's not possible so that's why we can use router transmission to filter multiple condition level data first I am creating three targets department 20 30 and 10 on EMP drag and drop EMP here rename this table EMP with department number 20 next EMP with department number is 30 and next EMP department number default default means the remaining records So three tables we created we have to generate this in the database okay we can check here tables are created or not nine rows uh, department 20 30 and default okay so three tables are ready now so now I'm creating a new mapping go to mapping designer mapping just create a new mapping naming conventions here router transmission click on ok so single source and multiple targets so you have to drag and drop the sources and target first EMP source and uh, targets this is one 20 department details 30 and default So three targets we have and one source we have. So first then create a rotor transmission. Go to transmission, create router. So first three letters of the transmission. Department numbers we are filtering transmission created this is also active and connected we cannot bypass the columns so that's why you have to drag and drop all the columns into the transmission so here we have to create groups based on the groups we can filter the data so new group just now I added one group by default we'll get the default group okay this is 20 department detail group DPT number 20 and we have to add one more for 30 the default group we will get the remaining records which records are not satisfied by first two conditions this is 
department number equal to 20 validate ok and edit the second expression also department number equal to 30 apply ok ok so first from first group to pass first target department 20 and from second group to pass second target department 30 the remaining default group we are passing into the default target so this is not required so if you want to see the output so what are the records we are getting in the default group so we can see so go to mappings and validate okay i'm repeating the steps again just first create a source and targets so here router we are using for single source and multiple targets that's why we create a multiple targets 20 department uh, emp20 table and for 30 emp30 table and to check the default records we created default target also so after that create a transmission router so first drag and drop all columns into the router transmission because router is active and connected type of transmission so we cannot take a only required column into that okay th so that's why we took all the columns into the router first so then go to router edit that router in groups you have to add the multiple groups based on the targets so our requirement is we have to filter 20 department details into one and 30 department details into another so that's why we created two groups to filter out 20 and 30 and ports by default you will get input because based on the groups you will get output so properties it's a normal tracing level already we discussed about the tracing level okay so based on the groups you will get output ports mapping validate and see then create a new workflow for this workflow create naming conventions are very very important this is route okay then create a session see naming conventions src underscore tgt underscore router okay on router we are creating that's why I selected router mapping Done. link task from workflow to session and connections we have to change the connection for source to target so now we have three targets right so you have to change the connection for each and every target okay for this one also bulk to normal Scott is default user now bulk to normal so this is the department number tracing level is normal okay validate this and validate the session also workflow also and save go to workflow start workflow so here it's running so total three targets we have from source we got 14 records but in targets we have 6 records in 30 department 20 in 5 and the de default or 3 so we can check the data from designer also or from database also so more than 500 you can check from the database below 500 we can check from designer this is 20 tiger is the password here 20 department related details we have 5 okay so here 30 
Scott. Password is Tiger. So these are the 30 report man details, total 6 records. So the remaining are default records. So we can see which department those records. So three records we got, those are the 10th department details. So our conditions are two conditions, department number 20 and department number 30. The default table contain 10th related department details. So the records are it's uh, not related to condition. So that's why we got in the default tag. So we can check the same record count we have in the EMP source or not. Select start from EMP where DPT NO equal to 20. Select count of star. So total 5 records for 30, 6 records, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the remaining were 3 records, 4 plus, 5 plus, 6 is 11, 11 plus 3, 14, total 14 records we have in EMP table. So we got 14. 6 in 30, 5 in 20 and the remaining is 3 in 10. So this is router. Router is active and connected type of transmission. So we are using router transmission to create multiple filter conditions at a time. If you want to create only single condition, we can use filter transmission. But if you want to create multiple conditions at a time, you, can cre you have to create router. So we will get performance difference when you are using filter and then router. For example, instead of creating router, if you want to filter 20 and 30, you have to create two transformation, two filters. One is for 20 department details and one other full filter is for 30 department details. So in real time, we are working with some millions of records. So definitely if you are using two filters, the first filter will read all millions of records one time. So based on the condition, it will filter the data into the target. The second filter also will do the same thing. So it will read the millions of records once and it will pass the data based on the condition into the target. So instead of two filters, if you are using router, the router will read the data from the source only once so based on the conditions it will pass the data into the multiple targets so that is the performance difference you will get when you are using router and filter if you want to work with multiple conditions okay so the next transmission is aggregator aggregator is also an active and connected type of transmission so using aggregator, we can calculate like aggregate calculations, sum, minimum, max, average, count, first, last, median. Okay. So we'll see how we are creating the aggregator and how we are creating that conditions. So first create the mapping, then based on the requirement, we have to create new columns in the target so mapping create so naming conventions aggregator so drag and drop EMP then Create a transmission first. Aggregator. The first three letters of the transmission, then some of the salaries. So 
so this is active so you have to pass all the columns required columns all required columns so I'm passing all source qualifier columns into aggregator so here you have input ports output ports and variable ports so variable ports we are using like column level comparisons means of for example if you want to compare the first record from the table and some of the columns with the next record in the same table so for the column level the comparisons in the records see we can use the variable so I'll explain with examples in further classes so and uh, here we have group by also now I want to add the total salaries in each and every department sum of salaries of the employees sum of this is output user defined sum of salaries of all employees and this is integer there is no input for this column because this is user defined column so here you will get all the functions in aggregator average count first last max median percentile sum variance so now we are calculating sum of salaries of employees in each and every department so you can use and or operators again or we can create multiple columns at a time like we added only one column like uh, sum of salary so if you want to find out the first record based on the salary or based on the high date or based on the job based on the department number first record lost record minimum salary maximum salary so we can find out we can add multiple columns we can find out the other uh, values also so now we are calculating the total salaries from each and every department that's why we are enabling this group by so group by department number we are calculating sum of salaries of the employees so aggregator is active and connected type of transmission first we passed all columns from source qualifier to here here we created a new user defined column to find out total salaries of the employees in each and every department so we added one new column sum of salary we created one expression using aggregator functions so for group by we selected group by option for department number and in properties so this is the cache directory this is the default informatica provided cache directory so here we have two types of caches data cache and index cache these are the temporary caches while execution it will store the data in the caches after execution it will release the data from the caches so these are the temporary caches so the, the index cache will store the data which conditional related records like uh, we created here group by and we created here sum of salaries those conditional level information it will load in the index cache the remaining information it will load in the data cache so these are the temporary caches so tracing level already you know and here one more thing we have sorted input so here we enable the department number right based on the group by so group by means first it will sort the data based on the department number right so that's why if you have already sorted data in aggregated transmission so if you are getting already sorted data into the aggregators transmission so no need to sort again the data so at that time you have to enable this option to improve your performance because otherwise it will sort the data if you are not enable this data otherwise it will sort the entire data so in real time we are working with a lot of records so that is again it will take time to sort the data so that's why if you have idea 
already we are getting sorted data so then we can avoid the sort using this option apply and okay so we have to add one more column in the target so I'm creating a new target with the text row column with the EMP structure this is sum of salary go to columns add a new column here that is sum of salary with integer number or integer so generate this table in the database already we connected into the squad so it's created a new table in the database that is EMP sum of salary okay drag and drop the target first then drag and drop the columns into the target all columns so mapping validate and save go to workflow create a new workflow for this transmission so naming conventions and next session create a new session for this create this session on aggregator mapping link with workflow into the session and change the connections here this is called and this is also scored back to normal aggregated already we checked everything in the mapping so validate and save control s so we say workflow and start workflow so total three records we'll get now because uh, this is aggregator based on the department number we will get the data so in each and every department it will pick the last record because we have group by here in the last record it will display the data with sum of salaries of total employees so three departments we have this is 10 20 and 30 this is the 10th department total salaries 20 department total salaries and 30 department total salaries so we can see here So in 20 department, the last record is 7902. So 7902 is the last record in the department 20. So in 7902, it displayed the total salaries of 20 department details. So in 30, James record 7900, in 10th department 7934. So like this, in each and every department, it will pick the last record and it displayed with the sum of salaries. So if you enable any other group by, so based on that group by, it will sort the records so based on that it will pick the last record in that last record it will display the details okay so aggregator is also activate connected type of transmission so using this we can do aggregate calculation some minimum maximum count total aggregate functions we can do so by default here we have input output and variable ports and group by also we have 
in properties we have temporary caches those are index and data the conditional related values they are storing in index the remaining in, it will store in the data if you are getting already sorted input no need to sort again just enable this sorted input option then it will avoid the sort okay this is aggregated transmission next transmission is sorter so go to mapping create a new transmission new mapping with new transmission sorter so before doing this just i'm importing one more table from the database source import from database so from here i'm importing dpt table okay so i'm creating a new target here for sort generate this table okay dpt sort drag and drop source and targets create a transmission sorter first three letters based on d name i'm sorting so we can create with the uh, EMP tables also based on the salaries we can sort. So here I'm taking the characters type of column to sort the columns. Okay, so based on the ASCII values it will sort because that is a character. Sorter is also active and connected type of transmission. So we cannot bypass the values. Okay, so in the down we got warning also so first drag and drop all the values into the columns into the sorter transmission so here by default you have input output and the key and direction so key port means are based on the key you will you can sort the data in ascending or descending order we are sorting the data based on the d name so here you will get ascending and descending order okay and next in properties so you have uh, case sensitive so if you have uh, capital and uh, small letters of data in your database so case sensitive is uh, very important to sort the data so based on the ascii will sort the data so that's why and uh, if you have any duplicates if you enable this it will remove the duplicates using distinct so when you enable this distinct you will get uh, all the key ports enabled okay so based on all columns it will sort so when all the columns are match with the same record same other record then we can consider that is a duplicate record so based on that it will remove the duplicates okay so this is the distinct to uh, remove the duplicate values so if you have any null values if you want to treat that null values in the loss just enable null treat hello this is the tracing normal okay so, so this is the sorter transmission so sorter is active and connected type of transmission by default will get input output and key port and direction so using key port we can sort the data based on that key port in ascending or descending direction if you want to remove the duplicates just go to properties enable the distinct option okay go to mapping validate and save so create a new workflow here for sorter and the session also so for 
the mapping and the session level things everything is same for each and every flow but the conditions creation of transmission is different okay so we created the session link task with the workflow chain the connection for source and target this is called this is also called bulk to normal so we are not applied any distinct uh, anything so that's why we'll get all the records so if you applied the distinct you will get the record code difference because this is active right start task So it succeeded only we have four records we got four records so we can see in ascending order based on the d name okay a b c d e f g h i j k o o p q or s okay d name on d name we sorted in ascending order okay so this is uh, sort of transmission so up to now the expression is only passive the remaining filter router aggregator sorter this four are active and connected type of transmission so in the next class we can see some more transmissions like rank sequence generator union source qualifier joiner so some other transmissions lookups also we have update strategies also we have so very very important transmissions we can discuss in the next class